Let's say you got lucky, got your hands on the new Nintendo Switch OLED model. You want to transfer your Animal Crossing New Horizons Island to the new console, but you run into some issues. Maybe I can help. That is so disrespectful. What's good, ACX squad? It's your guy, Alante, and I'm back with another Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Moving your Animal Crossing New Horizons save data between consoles is a lot more involved than moving data for almost every other game. So don't feel bad if you run into some problems. I've done this island transfer process a total of four times now because I've gotten four switches over the last year, and I've only run into issues this time upgrading to the OLED switch. And I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but I just wanted to hop on here, tell you guys what the issues were, tell you how I fixed it so you can save yourself some time if you find yourself in the same boat. The first issue isn't Animal Crossing transfer exclusive, but it's important to the process. So it's transferring the user data. I was finding that my source console, which is my old switch, wasn't recognizing the target console, which is the new switch. For whatever reason, the target console was recognizing the source console, but the other way around, it just wasn't computing and I didn't understand why. So what I ended up doing was taking the source console off of Wi-Fi, which I did have both consoles, both connected to my Wi-Fi and both connected to AC adapter, but it still wasn't working. So I took the source console off of Wi-Fi, connected it to my mobile hotspot, which is on my phone, and somehow that worked. I don't know why. I don't know why that had to be a thing, but that's what I did and it worked. Some people take both consoles and take it to hotspot, but I only had to change one. So I just wanted to let that be clear. If it doesn't work, just changing one, put them both on hotspot and see if that works. But then in the next step, going into the island transfer tool, I was getting a communication error with no details, no context, nothing helpful. It just said error and I had to close it. What I found out about that is I had the user data and the user profile on both consoles. It was the same profile. You can't facilitate the transfer process logged into the same profile on both consoles. So on the source console, you're gonna have to either use another profile if you have multiple or you're gonna have to create a dummy profile no offense, <laughs> but you're going to have to create a dummy profile and you're going to have to link a Nintendo account to it because that's the only way to utilize the island transfer tool from a different profile. So please know that. So you might have to just create a new Nintendo account just for this dummy profile or something like that. Once you go into the island transfer tool in that additional profile, you should have no problems transferring the same save data from the source console to the target console. That is what worked for me. And that is how I ended up getting my island on my new Switch and enjoying the larger screen on the OLED, the better colors, the better picture. And I've been having a ball. I've been really enjoying renovating my island. I'm going to be showcasing more of that in the next video. So you have to subscribe to the channel so you can see it. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget the discord server is back open so join the squad if you're an old squad member come back come back home <laughs> if you're someone who didn't get a chance to join the squad the first time come home we're waiting for you in the meantime keep it cool and i will catch you in the next video